So if I was going to recommend just one ornamental grass that you should get, this would be the one. This is Calamagrostis acutiflora Cal Forster. Um, it has at least 10 months of interest, if not 11. And I would recommend it to everyone. The reason I would recommend it is because it is sterile. It makes this a wonderful show as it's doing here at the moment. It has a statuesque look. The designers absolutely love it. It looks good mass planted or it looks good as a single specimen. I don't think you can get anything much better than this one. And there are a lot of ornamental grasses out there that I absolutely love. But if I had to put one above every other one, it would be this one every single time. It looks good in a mixed border. If you just want to plant a single specimen, just put a single specimen into a mixed border. It looks good as a dot planting as well. So if you've got a long border and you wanted to dot these throughout the border, that can look interesting as well. As you can see at the moment, we've got a nice breeze blowing onto it. And it gives it this uh, lovely movement. It's been like this for the last, or oh, possibly month and a half in this particular guise that it's got at the moment, and that's the straw colour. It's retained quite a lot of its green this year, quite late on. Uh, I'm hoping that carries on for quite a bit longer yet, but who knows? We're in we're in August at the moment. Now, if you was to uh, if you was to want to couple this with anything else, I would go for well, as a, as I've done here, I've put it with other grasses. Uh, this is my grass border. Now, the sun's coming quite low at the minute. It's in the early evening. And that's why you see me walk across there with my shadow. Uh, but if you're going to couple it with anything, I couple it with grasses. It looks great in late season perennial borders. I've got Allium Summer Drummer here. Uh, and it looks fantastic with that. There's not enough of these at the moment. Last year I had a few more than this. Oh, there's some that's hidden away. There's... There's one tucked away back there that gets caught up in it. So we'll go and move that. But <clears throat> to say this grass earns its keep is an understatement, really. It's just fantastic. I love it. I can never, ever say enough about this grass. Most of these specimens, in particular, say this one here, um, Oh, this one here, they're about, I'd say, f three years old. They would have been in plant pots originally. They've been in this garden for uh, the last two seasons. And they're looking fantastic. Now, there are lots of different Calamagrostuses. Uh, there are a few new ones on the market as well. Uh, and to be quite honest, I still think you'd be hard pushed to get one better than this one. I'm going to plant even more of these once autumn kicks in I shall plant a few more because I like cutting across it it's just superb I know not everybody's into ornamental grasses there's a lot of people that don't like them can't find a place for them but this one <clears throat> there's always a place for this one you can keep it in a pot if you show if you so wish it's uh it's okay for a pot, it'll do okay. Just remember to water it and feed it just once a year. Never try to overfeed these things and never feed the plant directly. Always try and use some sort of mulch in your garden, in the soil. Try and feed the soil, don't try and feed the plant itself. It will respond better. Let the soil do the feeding. In my case, I use a product called Plant Grow, which I find is uh, possibly the best one. So, 
superb, love it. Nice evening light tonight. And you've just got this gently swaying in the wind. It's, it just relaxes you. Definitely relaxes me. So that's Calamagrostis, Acutiflora, um, Acutiflora, Carl Forster. Easily available. A lot of garden centres are selling it now. They've cottoned on to the fact that it's a superb grass, and it is. One of the best. And possibly, for me, my number one and my always go-to. Hope you've enjoyed that. See you on the next one. Ta-da!